Hey, it's Scott Orn at Cruise Consulting, and today we're talking about two often overlooked expenses that can be included in your R&D tax credit. Now, just for a refresher, R&D tax credits can now be applied to payroll taxes. So startups that are doing true R&D can often get a pretty big rebate on their payroll taxes. We do a big analysis at the end of the year, look at all the expenses, all the payments made to US-based employees, and contractors that are doing hardcore engineering. And that makes up the bulk of the credit for startups. But there's two other categories that sometimes accountants forget to look at, which we're, we're pretty focused on. So the first one is cloud computing costs. And it doesn't always kind of, it doesn't always apply, but most of the time cloud computing can actually be included into your R&D tax credit calculations. And basically for those that, that have been living under a rock and don't know what cloud computing is, Everything now, software, is pretty much hosted in the cloud, hence cloud computing. And so you're accessing it on a remote location. You're not really housing it in your own premises or at your own company. It's all in the cloud. And that helps it be actually be categorized uh, in R&D tax credit. Now, the second one is machine learning or artificial intelligence. And there's a lot of companies that are building just purely machine learning software. And so, of course, you know, they're going to incorporate that. But if you're a different kind of company and you're using machine learning or artificial intelligence to build your solution or make your processes better, faster, and just doing true R&D, then those expenses can also be applied in your R&D tax credit. Again, it's always a judgment call. Talk to your CPA. At Cruise, we have a dedicated tax team of six people. So we will get on the phone and talk to you about this. But those are two buckets, cloud computing and machine learning slash AI that often are overlooked. And you know, at Cruise, I think in 2018, we did three and a half million dollars of R&D tax credits. In 2019, it's four and a half million. In 2020, it's gonna be something like six million. So we do a lot of these credits. We really know what we're talking about on this. So feel free to just give us a call. We'll talk you through it if you have any questions. Thanks.